As the royal family gathered for the Trooping the Colors ceremony, notable gestures and interactions sparked interest among onlookers. A body language expert has claimed the Princess of Wales made a swift head-turned gesture from Queen Camilla, who appeared to give King Charles a stern pep talk at his birthday parade. Trooping the Color military pageantry showcased the British Army's most prestigious regiments as they honored the monarch on his birthday. King Charles, riding a horse named Noble, participated in his first birthday parade as the reigning monarch, becoming the first to do so in over 37 years, as reported by the Mirror. After riding from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade, he then lined up alongside Prince William, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward, who were also on horses, as well as Kate and Camilla, who watched proceedings from a dais to king, alongside Prince William, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward, all mounted on horses, lined up at Horse Guards Parade. Watching the proceedings from a dais were Catherine and Camilla, who stood by as Charles faced a momentary struggle with his spirited steed. Body language expert Judy James noted that Camilla appeared to offer support, while Kate chose to stay out of the situation. She told the mirror, Trooping the color might have been slightly moored by the rather frisky horse that Charles seemed to be struggling with, which meant he rarely achieved the same kind of formal mounted pose that his son and siblings achieved riding behind him to the parade ground. Upon arriving beside the dais where Camilla stood, Charles seemed to express his frustration to her. Rather than offering a smile of pride and support, Camilla's body language suggested a stern-looking pep talk with frowns and firm head nods. Catherine took one glance at the conversation and turned her head away, clearly not wanting to get involved. While Sophie and Edward engaged in conversation with Charles and Camilla, Sophie's lighthearted mimicry of the proximity of two planes drew laughter from her husband. Charles frequently conversed with William, and their interactions hinted at a new, more relaxed bond between father and son. The royal family was out in full force today as they watched the king's inaugural birthday parade and viewed the trooping the color fly past from the Buckingham Palace balcony. The number of royals on the balcony, however, was relatively scaled down compared to the king's coronation in May and last year's trooping the color. On 2022's slash 17 members and the late queen were present, but missing from this year's balcony was the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's children, James, Earl of Wessex, and Lady Louise Windsor. James, 15, and Lady Louise, 19, also made an appearance on the balcony for the coronation last month. With this slimmed-down monarchy, there was more of a less formal family feel to the balcony group. The reduced size of the balcony group created a more informal and familial atmosphere reflecting the ongoing efforts to streamline and modernize the monarchy as King Charles' reign progresses. Experts suggest that a slimmed-down monarchy may need to further scale down its royal duties to manage the workload effectively.